Hello! Hi! I'm here with a crafting video today. I'm excited. I'm starting a brand new project today and I'm really excited um, and kind of nervous because this is my first time making something like this. I'm going to be doing a full armor set uh, from World of Warcraft and I'm very excited. But I figured I would just do a little intro here as I'm about to go start working on some things and uh, I wanted to film an intro before I got started on anything. Hey Chuck, are you sleeping on my cosplay stuff over there? Okay, so uh, the cosplay that I'm working on is Draka from World of Warcraft Shadowlands. This is Thrall's mom. I think she's a really cool character and I'm really excited that we're seeing more of her in Shadowlands. I want to play Maldraxxus just so I can interact with her more and see more of her because I love her so much. So yeah, I'm gonna cosplay as her and this is my first large armor build. I've done some small armor pieces before, like literally pieces. I've done some, uh, I did a chest plate, um, I did some gauntlets and glove armor uh, for some past projects, but I've never done a full suit of armor like head to toe. Uh, so I'm very excited to do one of those for the first time. I think it's gonna be fun. I really like crafting armor much more than I like sewing. I don't do a lot of uh, making cosplay from scratch because I don't like sewing that much, but armor and props, that's the stuff that I really like to make. So I'm excited to finally make something that is like, that's the focus of the cosplay. To start off before I get into any actual crafting, I have sketched out a bunch of stuff um, basic drawings of what her armor looks like in each individual piece um, and then planning out what materials I'm gonna use. So I could put a list of materials on the screen now, I'll put it like there, because um, that is what I'm getting to start with. I don't know if I'll need to get more things as I work on this, uh, but that's what I'm starting with and that's a approximate sketch. Then I have some more detailed sketches of individual pieces and what those are like. And again, some more sketches of her armor. And then this one down here, this is just her, what it might be like on my body. Maybe, I don't know. Hopefully it looks like that because I've never done this before. Um, but those are my sketches that I'm starting out with. So I got my first um, pattern sketched out on paper and I'm going to go onto my foam and try it out. I'm going to start with something small. I'm going to do just gauntlets to start out with because it's a small, I think it's the smallest piece I could do. I don't want to start with like a giant pauldron or like the chest armor or anything because I think that's going to be too big to, like I'm going to overwhelm myself. So I'm starting with a small piece so I can try it out and um, yeah, that's what we'll do now is the pattern that I'm basing it on. Uh, I'm gonna have to change the gauntlets to be bigger and stuff, but I think this general shape is basically what I need to build up stuff off of that. So I think that's good. For my first day of crafting, I started just by cutting out and preparing the pattern pieces for those gauntlets. Then I moved on to cutting out the pieces in foam. Uh, here I am cutting it with an X-Acto knife which pretty early on I stopped using the exacto knife because it just wasn't sharp enough. But yeah, I'm, I'm cutting pieces out. After cutting these pieces out, I didn't have much else to do yet because I didn't have my glue, so I switched to another task to prepare my tusks. These are supposed to be fangs, like really big ones, but I'm going to flip them upside down and use them as orc teeth. So I just have to mix the liquid in with this and put them on my teeth. These are the scarecrow fangs. I think they're called sabers. Um, I spilled the dust thing. It actually took a couple tries to get them right, but I eventually got them stuck on my teeth well. I had a hard of her a long time. I can't really close my mouth properly or talk right. But I have teeth. Yay! They look cool. 
Yay. Then we move on to the next day after my glue had arrived. I started with those gauntlets again just to stick the pieces together. Putting glue on both sides of the pieces and um, everything I'm doing right here is wrong. I'm totally messing this up. But I glued some pieces together. It was really messy and it took a long time. But here I am realizing that I glued the wrong sides of the pieces together. I glued them backwards. So here I am redoing it. Yeah, they go that way. Still, once I started gluing them the right way, I was having a hard time getting them to actually stay together. You can see here it's pulling apart a lot. Um, and I was just kind of switching back and forth between two different pieces and trying to hold them together until they stuck. But then I looked up some videos again, because it's been a while since I researched this stuff, and realized I had way too much glue on there, so I just had to put a little bit and then scrape off the excess glue. And then that was a huge step up in actually getting everything to stick properly together. Letting it dry a little bit and then that was much, much better than the pieces actually stuck correctly. Here is me cutting out the next pattern piece. This is the piece for the pauldrons, so the patterns for the pauldron. Since I don't have a printer right now, I was just tracing these onto paper and then taping them together um, and just scaling it correctly. So it was extra. Since I messed up last time gluing the pieces wrong, I decided to take my pattern pieces and practice putting them together with some tape so I could get a better idea of how they actually went together before I started actually gluing. I also want to give a massive huge shout out to my friend Vicious Frockery who sent me some videos helping to explain how to do this stuff. It was so, so helpful, and I would not have been able to figure any of this out without their help. So thank you so much. And here I switched from the X-Acto blade to scissors, which I know are not the best for cutting foam, but my X-Acto blade was so dull and I didn't have anything else. So I switched to the scissors um, and it's fine, but for whatever my next big armor project I do, I'm definitely going to invest in getting some better X-Acto knife blades so I can cut things properly. And then here I am gluing those pieces together for the first pauldron. Here's a photo of just progress in the middle of things. I got the first pieces of the gauntlets together and then the base for the first pauldron. And then once I let those parts dry, then I started actually putting the pauldron pieces together with the outer portions and getting it all into one piece. And here it is. Here's the first pauldron. I was shocked that it actually looked how it was supposed to. I'm very, very impressed with it and very happy and proud. Then for the under layer of the pauldron, I'm heating these foam pieces so they're a little easier to bend and then sticking them together. It's pretty clear to see in these clips, my glue job is not the best. It's not very clean looking. It's very messy, but this is my first time ever doing this. Uh, here's the, the first pauldron put together. This is my first time ever doing this though, so for my first time, I'm very proud of it and very happy with how it's going. 
Plus, a lot of this is going to be textured and sculpted over, so I'm not too worried about the glue texture or it being kind of messy because this isn't supposed to be like clean, nice plate pieces. It's going to be like weird and undead looking for Jaka. For the other pauldron, I did the same exact thing, but I sized up the pattern a little bit because her other one's a little bit of a larger pauldron. Here's the next day, day three of crafting. Um, rocking some pajamas because who cares about looking nice when I'm just gluing a bunch of foam together. But I started putting the gauntlet pieces actually together so they're the right shape and then cutting out the pattern for the breastplate. I skipped the clips of cutting it because I'm just cutting paper. It's not really exciting to see, but here's the breastplate pieces and all the progress that I had made so far. I also made a chart so I could track my progress and what pieces I had left to put together. Uh, that was very helpful for me because I kept feeling like I was going to forget something. I would just highlight it once I finished the base of putting that piece together. Now for the breastplate, I was really nervous for this. I thought I was going to mess it up or glue something backwards but I actually got things together very well. I started with attaching all of the bottom pieces to each of the body pieces, the kind of piece that flares out at the end. And then after attaching all those to the bottoms, I moved on to attaching each of the pieces onto each other. I was so nervous, but even after just attaching the first piece, I could see it coming together in my mind, and I'm very proud of it. And then here is the first half of the body. It's, I just love this feeling of seeing these random pieces come together and realizing, oh, this is actually working. And then I repeated the steps for the opposite side and I just need to stick them together now. Here I'm trying to crab myself into them. But it really is so rewarding to see everything actually coming together and just feeling very proud of my work. After attaching the center, then I attach the straps so those are put together, and here is the body sitting in my chair, like actually looking correct. And here's me trying everything on because I'm really impatient, so there's me putting things on. The next piece I'm cutting out is the neck armor piece. I think in the past I would have been very nervous working on a cosplay like this, especially seeing little things like my glue being so messy or things not lining up exactly properly and feeling like it was really bad. But while I've been in quarantine and all that stuff, I've just been wanting to make things, wanting to create things and not caring about how perfect or professional it is, just making things because it's fun. And it's really nice to get back to that type of cosplaying again, where it's not about being a perfect representation of what I see on the screen, but just having fun making something. Like, I know this isn't going to be perfect, this is my first time ever making something like this, but I'm making it, and I'm learning, and that is good, and I'm very proud of learning and making things. These large pieces here are going to be the hip armor. I made the hip armor way too big, but that's okay, it was just a place to start. After that, I'm looking over the reference images again and looking at her gauntlets once again to go back to those. And I'm cutting some pieces away and gluing some more pieces on so I can get the shape closer to what hers are and not just what my pattern was because I was using this pattern as a base and then planning to adjust it to how I wanted it to look. I'm also adding a short 
kind of lip layer over the edge of the gauntlets because her armor is layered. Instead of doing multiple layers of armor, I'm just kind of doing it as an illusion where I'm putting these over it and then blending it together to look like one piece. Then I'm taking out the foam clay and blending the edges here as well as I could. This is also my first time working with foam clay and I love this stuff and it's very fun. After blending the edges, I just went around the whole edge of the top layer to put a kind of border on that. And that is all I have made it in these three days. Okay, so this is what we are at so far. Um, I'm super happy with how this is coming out so far. We've got the uh, main body piece, the neck piece, the smaller pauldron with like the layers that go under it, and then the larger one, which is this is going to be the one with the skull on it, and that one had some layers under it. Uh, these are the hip pieces that are basically just pieces stuck together. I've barely done anything to them yet. Um, and then the um, wrist armor, which I started sculpting on, um, and I let that dry overnight. Um, but these are the first ones I'm starting detailing, like just basic blocking things out. Um, and I'm gonna be doing a lot more on those. But this video is already getting very long. But we have the base of basically her whole top half blocked out. Base is made for everything that I can then go start doing more stuff on. Um, I'm excited and I'm very happy with how it's all coming out. And I will probably... I feel like I will do these crafting videos probably like once a week in addition to my regular videos um, until I finish it because uh, there's a lot going on here but hopefully as, at least if I keep going the pace that I'm going right now things will come together pretty quickly.